How's it going, goons? Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We'll play Legend Bull, new game recently released by Super Pixel Games. And speaking of which, Super Pixel Games was kind enough to give us a key for the game so that we could take a look at it. This game is a pixel art simulation football game, so it looks a little bit cartoonish, uh, but they are trying to make it as in-depth as possible. I've already played the game for a few hours to try to get used to it, and I've got to say, so far, I've had a decent amount of fun. The game isn't fully perfect, but from what I can tell, the developers seem to be doing a pretty good job at getting rid of any bugs that might pop up. I did have a glitch at one point when I was uh, testing things out, where it was the last play of the game, and like the ball... I uh, kind of got thrown behind and just was sitting on the ground and nobody could pick it up and I had to quit out of the game uh, after I had played all of it. So as we get into this one, if you guys enjoy this video and want to see more content from this game, uh, get the video to about 100 likes and we'll certainly do some more. There are already a bunch of mods out for the game that the community has created that you can find in the game's Discord, which I'll put in the description below. Uh, but there's, you know, NFL mods and college football mods. So in the comments, uh, if you guys would like to see either of those featured, uh, maybe we do a short little season with uh, the NFL one or a specific uh, college football conference or team, then we can make that happen. For today, though, we'll just go ahead and start a new season and see what we can do. Uh, we start off by making a coach. Uh, obviously, we're going to go with our classic name of Brandon Goon. And we could select a team, but we're going to keep it random. The teams uh, are kind of based loosely, I think, off of NFL teams. Uh, but, of course, they have generic names and mascots and uh, players. So we don't quite have all of it for us. Coach creator, we can get pretty crazy. You can go hat or no hat. Uh, but the hairstyles and the face types and all that can be uh, a little bit crazy. So I'd officially like you guys to meet Brandon Goon, the new head coach of Let's See What Team. We are with the Coyotes. So let's go ahead and start our career here in Legend Bowl. The season mode is, I think, the most fully fleshed out mode in the game. Uh, there could be a little bit more. I don't know if you can change anything with rosters. I don't know if there's trades or free agents. I can't find them if they exist. Uh, but there's enough definitely to keep it interesting for a full season. Uh, you can look at the newspaper every week, which is kind of fun. Uh, you can check out player injuries and set your depth chart. Uh, you've got your schedule. We've got a roster that we can go through. And again, we can set our depth chart how we want it. Right now, our quarterback is Quentin Glass. Uh, he's not very quick or agile, but we could go with the backup Fritz Acosta, who's a little bit worse as a quarterback. His uh, special skill is lower. Uh, his strength is lower, but he is much quicker. So maybe we decide we want to be a scrambling quarterback. That's a difference also between a rookie and a guy with 16 years of experience. Our running back starting wise is going to be pretty solid 90 skill. Uh, Delbert Rogers, 88 speed, 90 agility, great stamina. I think that we're going to be pretty solid running the football. The biggest thing that sets the season mode apart from everything else, I think, is the ability to change your facilities. Um, you have only so much that you can upgrade each of these things, your stadium, your training facilities, and your rehab. Um, so you have to be smart and pick and choose which upgrades you're going to decide to put in because you only have... 800 square feet available to you in each of these takes uh, 100 to 400 square feet and they also cost money which right now we have 50 bucks and the most expensive upgrade will cost 200 so let's just go ahead and get into a game and we are kansas city by the way so we'll go into the uh team schedule we can see every uh matchup that we have through the 17 weeks and we will start off against San Francisco. And I think uh, the Niners are in this game are considered the Miners. So we come into this one as the away team. We are a three overall out of five. San Francisco is a five. They've got a good offense, a better defense than us. Uh, we just have the special teams in our favor. 
So this is not going to be an easy game to win. So as we load in, a light rain, 64 degrees with a two mile an hour southwest wind as we will hope for the best. And this is a very fast paced game. Uh, it takes a little bit to get used to. So I would definitely suggest starting on the default normal difficulty because uh, otherwise you might get blown out like I did when I immediately put it to the highest difficulty. Uh, let's get this one underway. Uh, we're going to go with Tails because Tails never fails. Uh, we have lost the toss and San Francisco is elected to receive. So kicking in this game is incredibly difficult. Uh, field goals are pretty much the same system as this where we're just going to hold down A, charge up our power and hope to release it at the right time. Uh, if you try to go too much power, you'll end up being wildly inaccurate with your kick and decent kick coverage. We keep them inside the 20. Now, play calling is very simple. Uh, you just go through and choose how you want it. Uh, I'm going to pick a play, though, real quick. And you'll see how fast-paced this game really is. We're bringing the blitzes. It looks like they're going to pass on first down. Irwin getting in there, and we actually brought the blitz and get the sack on the first play of the game. So Richie Clark able to get in there, forces the second and 16. And it looks like they're going to hand it off, and they do up the middle. Decent tackle there. We got them in the third and long. I got to say, I'm not great at defense in this game, so if we can get this stop, it would be fantastic. As the quarterback will step back to pass, and no, he's going to get sacked again. Somehow our defense just smothering San Francisco there. So we'll be able to get our punt team out here, and hopefully we should be able to get decent field position uh, Samson's going to return, and as you just saw there, we just ran into the referee, and the referee is a live part of the game in this game. So we hit the referee, we knocked him down, and he kind of slowed us down. The same thing, if we were to pass and the ball were to hit the referee, it would just fall to the ground incomplete. So something that I think a lot of people wish Madden had, and it doesn't. Big stiff arm there as we run out towards the edge. This Coyote team, a little bit surprising. Passing. Very difficult for me. I'm not great at passing in NCAA or Madden, so certainly I'm not going to be good here. You got to hold the button for a little bit and then get rid of it. Somehow that works really well, and we're going to score the touchdown from a long ways out. Oh my gosh, we're going to take the lead 6 0. 32 yard pass there. And I got to be honest, I'm probably not going to hit this extra point. I've got like a 10% conversion rate on these. It's just not easy. Oh, that's a miss for sure. I got to hope, and no. We shanked that to the moon. So I can do kickoffs all right. We get that one 100% power. Uh, but anything else, I'm very, very bad at kicking in this game. They're going to return it from really deep in the end zone. We're going to, oh my gosh, we're going to pin him inside the 10. Terrible decision to bring that one out for sure. Well, let's uh, just continue to play here in our 3-4, expecting to run on first down. It is handed off. And we're going to get the diving tackle from behind. Okay, we, we're, we're doing okay. I know that they have a solid quarterback on this San Francisco team, so I'm going to expect some more passing. Uh, but if they want to keep running, that's fine. This one a little run up the middle, and there they go. Big run. We missed the tackle, and they get the first down. Our blitzes have worked pretty well so far today, so let's continue to bring that. And they're going to go for the run. We're right there to stop it. It looked like a little counter, and we dropped them for a big loss. Uh, definitely a lot of fun, though, this game. A uh, lot of potential for it to be great. I don't know if it's quite there yet, but uh, just a lot of fun. And, oh, no, this is a big one. Coffee, can he get there? Stamina bar running low for Terry, which is, oh, my gosh, I just missed the tackle. He's gassed. Thankfully, we're able to catch up and stop that one from becoming a touchdown. And we just kind of prove there that, uh, yeah, I'm still not good at defense in this game. End of the first quarter. Comes and goes. And we'll just head right into the second here. Hope for the best getting the stop. First and 10. Dropping back into the coverage. They throw it up. Soft coverage for me. They get the pass complete. And you can really tell uh, how, how fast paced this game is on plays like that. A quick pass over the middle is done before you realize it. So, uh, yeah, that's why I suggest playing on normal. Third down, making the quick audible to blitz here. And they get the pass off quickly. It's Bob and then it's fourth down. It looks like we might have held San Francisco to the field goal here. 
CPU usually much better at hitting these kicks than I am. We'll see if we can do anything to slow it down. And no, uh, kick is up. That was easily good, so it's going to be 6-3. We'll get our first chance at a kick return, I guess. I'm down for that. Let's hope for the best. We need some good blocking as I'm going to bring it out of the end zone this time. Blocking not great. We can't get the stiff arm. We're at the 15. Well, we had a good drive the first time out scoring. Let's see if we can do the same here. Midway, or pretty early in the second quarter still. And that's not going to work at all. Let's try a big pass play. Throw one deep. See if we can find somebody open. I'm not so certain. We get the pass off. It's a beautiful one, but it's bobbled around. And it is incomplete. That's the first time that uh, I've gotten that perfect throw. Just unfortunate it doesn't get caught. One thing that I would love to see is hot routing as a feature because that is not available as we will just give it up for the running back and that one swatted away too. That was a super quick three and out as it's fourth and nine and we'll get a decent punt away. We'll hope for the best here. The referee just got run into again. And this looks like it could be a decent run. Butler's too slow to get the corner there. Oh my goodness. He's going to take it the distance. Wow. Inside the 20-yard line. We started really strong. Uh, I thought we would have a chance, but again, this is a really high overall San Francisco team. And they're beating us there. That one's bobbled and dropped, thankfully. we got to hold these guys to uh, a field goal here. We want to keep this game tied. So the two-minute warning has come, and... I uh, expect them to continue to pass on this third and seven. Can we get pressure on this quarterback at all? He's going to throw it up. It's completed. We had like five guys in the area. <laughs> That's a first and goal. This is not going well at all on this drive. We got to be able to do something to slow these guys down. Not going to be handed off. It's thrown and caught right there at the front of the end zone. So they're going to take the lead and probably hit the extra point. San Francisco fans honestly going a little bit crazy here. As the kick is up, and that's going to be good as well. So they will have a four-point lead with less than two minutes and a half. All right, 137 is what we have to work with. They just got a perfect kick. This is going to be deep into the end zone, and we're going to bring it out. I just got to hope for a miracle here. Unfortunately, unlike NCAA 14, I'm not good at returning kicks in this game. I think we've only completed like a couple of passes, but that's pretty much all that we're going to be going for as we will step back looking to throw tough one here in a triple coverage that one's bobbled around all over the place my goodness i'm lucky that one was not intercepted quentin glass just not quite getting it done yet uh throw up another one again into triple coverage uh, that's not looking good for me well i don't know if i would go for this on fourth down but it would potentially be worth the chance. Stepping back again to throw and over the middle. We had a guy open, but the pass gets swatted down at the line. So it's fourth down. I got to punt this one away. We are starting to get absolutely bodied as uh, San Francisco is just doing work. Another probably good kick return. No, we actually did a good job jumping through there. So they're just past the 50. Minute and 10 left for the miners uh i think that we get the ball to start the third quarter so that will be useful and oh my gosh he caught the ball but we just popped it out late pass incomplete there is we break it up second and ten they're gonna decide to run we're right there and a helmet got knocked off doesn't look like an injury though and 58 seconds left san francisco has taken a timeout we're going to try to play for the stop here because there's a chance that we could still score a touchdown as I got burned so badly. I didn't have a chance. This dude is a million times faster than us. That hurts a lot. My user getting exposed on yet another football game. San Francisco is going to extend the lead to 11 with 50 seconds before the half here. Feels like there's not a whole lot that we can do right now. Just getting burned time and time again. Pick is up and it is good. All right. Well, maybe we get some sort of return. He shanked the kick, so at least we'll have decent field position. Comparatively, at least, just past the 25. And this defense has been dominating me all game, but we're just going to keep throwing up the football. 
and hoping for the best. Got to have something. That one is a little bit inaccurate. I'm not great at passing. I like running the ball, but we just don't have the time on the clock to do it right now. So it's a little bit disappointing. Over the middle, there's a completed pass, but it's only for five yards. So uh, we'll take the time out. And I think that, well, we'll just try to give it a, a big run. We could do something good. Rodgers is awfully quick, and he's got some blockers in front getting chased down from behind. This is absolutely worth it. We'll get out of bounds across the 40. Albert Rodgers went 30 yards downfield on the play. We got 27 seconds. Maybe a chance still for us to get into field goal range. There's a big pass to Cordova. He's not going to get the stiff arm, and we're going to have to take another timeout inside the red zone. 17 seconds left. I would love a touchdown. Can we pick it up? Throwing one over the middle, hoping for the best. It's bobbled around and incomplete. We're getting lucky these aren't intercepted. 13 seconds left now. Again, probably looking to throw, hoping for the best. Is that over the middle there? It is Duarte into the end zone. A beautiful throw. We're going to get a five-point game. We got to go for two, though, on this. Maybe a risky decision, but we're going to try to hand it off and see what Rodgers can do. And Oh, my gosh. He didn't have a chance. Just obliterated. No blocking there. Two-point conversion fails. Well, let's kick this one off and try to get it deep. Uh, they'll waste a couple seconds returning it. And then just no Hail Mary, and we could be okay. Still alive in this game, surprisingly. I'll take that. Four seconds on the clock. They are going to hand it off out towards the edge. A little pitch. Oh, my gosh. This man is off to the races. Jarvis needs to get there. Can we take the right angle? No, he's gassed. Thank goodness we get the tackle there. He got a little stiff arm on us. Oh, that was rough. So that brings up halftime. Somehow we're not down as much as I thought we could be. San Francisco scored 17 points in the second quarter. Which is pretty big because we're playing four-minute quarters right now. Uh, they're beating us in total yards. We have more passing yards, I guess. Um, yards allowed. Well, that obviously is going to be them giving up fewer. We have 11 pass plays to four rushing plays. So I think that we'll try to get the run going a little bit more late. Uh, we just need to have better punt returns. They have 60 punt return yards. We're doing a little bit better on kick return yards, but we've returned more kicks. Uh, and our time of possession is pretty lacking. So I guess we'll just get this third quarter underway and hope for the best. Uh, we need a touchdown on this drive. It's as simple as that. And we need some good blocking on this return, but we're just not getting anything from our blockers. Well, it's time to start the running game. Uh, early and often in this second half. It's looking great right now. Rodgers gets this stiff form. He's going to get gassed really, really soon. But just like that, he's going to be across midfield. So if you notice, I am running out of bounds when our player gets gassed. And that's mostly... Oh my gosh, what a stiff arm. That is mostly because you are more likely to fumble the ball when you get gassed. Very similar to in like NCAA 14 when you're scrambling with your quarterback and his stamina gets low. He's more likely to fumble there. This one a pass out to the fullback. And he's going to have a chance to pick up some yards. We're moving the ball very efficiently right now. Tommy Davies getting us inside the 15. And now we're going to go with the same stretch play that didn't work on our two-point conversion. We do have a couple of blocks. Juke, not quite there for Rodgers. See if anybody can get open in the running game. They are bringing some pressure. This is a tough one, but we throw it up. There's going to be a completion. Gets the stiff arm in Fernandez into the end zone. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but the stiff arm almost seems a little bit overpowered. It is awfully strong, and I probably should be going for two here uh, to try and make it a three-point game, but I want to kick some field goals and attempt that. This is definitely a miss. Accuracy was bad. It's going to be short anyways, and I continue to just be terrible at kicking in this game. Really frustrating because apparently I'm really good at kickoffs. We just don't get an opportunity to do them as often. That one is at the back of the end zone. Yeah, I would not blame them for taking the touch back there. Well, we've got our one-point lead, so we just need the defense to stand up here and get the stop. Rusher was getting there, swatted down at the line. Early stop on first down brings up this second down. And they're going to run the ball. We're there to stop it. It's a long third down for them to try to convert here. What can we do? 
Gonna use her in the main because that tends to work a little bit better for me. I get burned. I'm not alone though. Pass complete. Jarvis got absolutely burned and this could very well be a touchdown. We need him to be gassed and we need to get the touch or the tackle, but just not there. He had too much stamina. Oh, that's unfortunate. Part of that one is just me still learning the buttons, but that was bad coverage from Jarvis on the play. Kick is up and once again, it's going to be good for the AI. All right, well, back down. Minute and 57 on the clock. They're getting seven points per touchdown. We're getting six. It's a little bit disappointing. This one, finally a decent little return. We're going to be out past the 30. I am certainly enjoying this game right now. It's a close one. Can we pull it out late in the third quarter here? A run out towards the edge. Rodgers fumbles the ball. We're going to recover it. It's Rodgers that picked it up. He's gassed. But he's streaking downfield. So many free yards. Oh, that was so lucky that he's the one that picks it up. If Delbert just had a little bit more stamina, we would be in the end zone right now. Oh, wow. Stepping back, looking to throw on this one. Looking for Duarte. It's bobbled and dropped. So Quentin Glass, our quarterback, isn't the best quarterback. Uh, but it's a little bit disappointing on some of these ones. As we give it back to Rodgers and try to make it a manageable third down. I think maybe it depends on uh, who's playing the game. But for me, oh, as we take a sack, for me, I'm so much better at running than passing in this game. Well, this is terrible. End of the third quarter, but we're going to have to try a field goal here to start this fourth quarter. And I'm not so certain it's going to go well. I'm going to have to really time this up. We might have had it. I don't know if I gave it up enough power, though. Oh, it was accurate for once, but short. I left it at 72 power. Would have been a great chance to pick up a couple of points, but that might be the end of the game for us if our defense isn't able to come up with a stop on this one. Pass is complete there. Into my coverage, of course. With the clocks, you know, starting to tick away, I'm getting a little bit worried. Clock acceleration is on as well, so they're going to be able to burn it much quicker. This is a big third and three. I'm honestly expecting this to be a run, but I've called the zone. And no, they're going to step back to throw, and it's completed through, I think, a little bit of contact. Now, one thing that this game has is actually a really, really good replay system. And I don't know if we can see here, if we zoom in, I, I yeah, I think it gets uh, kind of deflected by our defensive back into his hands. A little bit disappointing there. Again, probably a run. I'm going to be expecting them, even though our run defense has been phenomenal. That one gets stopped for a loss of a yard. We got to bring this corner blitz again. It's been working pretty well. If we can get a sack, that would be big. Or the pitch. Somebody's got to get there. He's got some blockers. Oh, it would have been great to get him in the backfield. Third and five. There's a lot of pressure on the defense here. They're out of field goal range. A chance to get the stop again. Bringing the corner blitz, but I kind of messed it up. They complete that through the contact. Ah, Two-minute warning already as we're in trouble. We can't give up a field goal, otherwise we lose. So, gotta hope for the best. They are continuing to pass the ball, but why not? It's complete every time. Herberto Lutz is 9 of 13 passing on the day. He's got his team a second and three with less than a minute and 40 to play. It seems like they're honestly burning the clock here. That's cool to see that the AI is aware of that. They are indeed burning the clock. Uh, as much as they can and now they're running it and I can't afford to take a timeout here but I might have to I don't know third and one we're gonna have to bring the blitz and hope for the best because we're gonna be left with 30 seconds after this play this is almost certainly going to be a screen the question is can we stop them from getting the first down they step back to throw and there's the completion and not only is he gonna score actually that's probably our best option is to let him get into the end zone and pray for a miracle I'm assuming they'll hit another extra point here no problem kick is up and that's honestly pretty close but it is at the end of the day still good 31 to 18 certainly one thing that this game is good at is producing kind of crazy football scores 
as I'm going to let this one hit for a touchback. Can't waste any seconds. We've only got 25 of them to work with, so what can we do? Who's going to be open at all? And am I just going to throw up a duck like that? This one could actually be caught, but it's just floating in the air. Oh my goodness. That sat up in the air for 10 seconds. It's pretty much just Vert's time as we pray for somebody, anybody to get open. This one thrown short, bobbled around and dropped. I think that's how this is going to go. Only 12 seconds left now. I don't think that we have enough time, even if we were to score on this exact play. Pass is thrown this time. It's complete, and Samson's going to take it maybe the distance. I don't know if he has enough stamina. There's the ghast. Dive for the extra yards. But that's going to be the end of the game, I think. Yeah, clocks at triple zeros. We can't even make it look close. That's a tough loss for us. We had plenty of chances, but at the end of it, just unable to get it done. Final 31 to 18. The Miners win it. We had more first downs, but too many yards given up. 345 to our 280. They were passing with ease near the end of that game. Maybe we were just getting too tired, but certainly a little bit difficult. Average 12 yards a carry. If we had more time to run the football, uh, I think that we would have been fine. Handing the ball off certainly works a lot better for us. And that's part of the problem. We passed it 18 times and only ran it nine times. So we got to change that if we're going to uh, try to come away with a win. Let's take a look at the player of the game. And today it's uh, Heriberto Lutz, the quarterback, the rookie quarterback for the San Francisco Miners. 153.3 rating, 10 of 14 for 212 yards and four touchdowns. Long as 79. He ends up scoring 24 fantasy points, which is pretty fun. Uh, you know, you can pop his helmet on and off. You can rotate him. A lot of cool stuff there. We can also take a look at individual player stats. Um, so there's just so much to look at. You can see the morale, persistence, and the popularity. I actually don't know what the PER is, but uh, he's healthy. He's not a good passer, Quentin Glass, right now. Good stamina, good injury at least. Um, he's a winner. I like this, the the, uh, the mental traits. He's not greedy, he's relatively loyal, but his work ethic is uh, pretty terrible. There's a lot of cool stuff there. They have contracts and salary, but again, maybe I just haven't made it far enough into the season mode, but there doesn't seem to be like free agents or anything that I can pick up. So uh, I'm not sure if there's trades either, but again, 100 likes we make another video if we keep doing that maybe we get to the end of the season and find out so with that we will end our game and uh we can see we took a loss uh can we look at the league schedule we can look at some uh, scores from around the league baltimore beats new england seattle loses to washington arizona beats dallas a uh, lot again a lot of crazy football scores i think we're seeing a lot of sixes and twelves because uh, teams are missing kicks. Unfortunately, it seems that San Francisco has the best kicker in the entire league because he did not miss. So we'll go ahead here and sim the rest of the week, which was just one game. I guess we played pretty much the last one. Minnesota wins it 9-6 uh, to six over Green Bay. And what's our newspaper for this week? Minutemen are on a one-game losing streak. Yeah, not, uh, not the craziest news there. And the one-game winning streak continues for Coach Chen. <laughs> Week two, who would we play? It would be against Pittsburgh, but again, it's going to be up to you guys whether or not we continue in this league. We earned 25 bucks, so if we want to, we could upgrade some facilities. Stadium facilities increase happiness levels for the most part. Uh, training facilities are strength and speed and that sort of stuff and rehab stuff. It's like stamina, morale, injury, uh, mostly that. Uh, I think right away, uh, the things that seem the best to me are going for the stamina, strength, and speed. Uh, so we'll get the smoothie bar right away, and then we'll probably also get the nutrition station because that would be absolutely fantastic to have. Let's go ahead and build that, and uh, we've used 100 square feet of our 800 available to us. And we've spent 50 bucks. 
So that's going to do it for this episode. Again, I want to know your guys' thoughts on this game. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, there's a little bit more in depth that it could be, preferably, but that's maybe me being a little bit picky. And also, if we continue to play it, should we put in an NFL or a college football mod? I'm kind of leaning towards a college football one. You don't get every team, but you can. what it looks like is you pick a conference and you get those teams and then big teams from the rest of the nation. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please feel free to hit the like button uh, and subscribe if you want to be notified when new videos like this get posted. Once you've done that, you can head on down to the description where you'll find links to this game's Discord as well as links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. There's also links to Twitter and uh, our community Discord. All that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys so much for 2,500 subs. It's an awesome milestone. And hopefully I can be saying thank you for 5,000 pretty soon. But anyways, my name is Goonmaster. You guys are the goons. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.